All right, guys, so I just got done watching the Framer Fall event, and there were some pretty groundbreaking announcements. And so in this short video, I want to cover everything that you might have missed, including all of the announcements, new features, improvements to the tool, and things that you can start using today if you're a Framer user. There were several smaller announcements that Framer made, including some cool improvements to the tool like text effects, um, new Framer educational content. They announced some exciting things like huge cash prizes for the best Framer sites of the year. And they even mentioned that the winners of some of those best sites of the year are going to win up to $100,000 in cash prizes. So Framer's doing some fun stuff to get the community involved. And so I, for one, am really excited to see what everybody builds just to try to win those cash prizes. So on top of some of those fun announcements, they also announced some pretty significant improvements to Framer. One of the most noteworthy improvements are the changes to Framer CMS. So now within the Framer CMS, you are able to reference other collections, which is going to give you a ton of freedom with the way that you use your CMS collections and items. They also increase the item limit to 100,000 items per collection, which means you're not going to have to worry about hitting any limitations. Now, I'm really excited about the way that Framer has set up their CMS system, and I think that these changes are going to make it even easier to build any type of site and any size of site. Now, on top of all of that, the most significant announcement that was made in this event was the introduction of Framer plugins. So starting today, Framer's plugin marketplace is open and has tons of plugins that are ready to use right now. I'm so excited for the ability now to use plugins inside of Framer because it opens up so many possibilities in the way that we build sites. So they mentioned several different plugins and here are a few that I recommend you use starting today. So first is the Notion plugin where you can create content in Notion pull it right into your Framer site and publish. There's also a Google Sheets plugin where you can pull data from a Google Sheet directly into your site. The Blocks plugin is going to make building sites in Framer way easier because you'll have a full library of different sections and layouts that you can drag and drop directly into your Framer site. The Phosphor Icons plugin gives you access to over 9,000 different icons that you can pull in and use directly on your site. The Framer Off plugin allows you to create membership features. So gated pages and content are now easier than ever in Framer. And there are even some fun plugins that you should check out like the Doodles plugin. Now the plugin that I'm most excited about because it's the one that my team and I have been building is the Semflow SEO plugin. We've been working with the Framer team to have Semflow be one of the first plugins in the marketplace. So starting today, you can download the Semflow plugin you can audit your site, get your SEO score, do your keyword research, get step-by-step -step optimization tasks for each of your pages, track and improve your site speed and page performance, use AI to create page titles and meta descriptions, and tons more. So if you're a Framer user and you want an easy way to do your own SEO, go to semflow.com. And if you're already a paid Semflow user, you can now use the tool inside of Framer at no additional cost. All right, so with all of that said, I would still definitely recommend that you go and watch the event. Like I mentioned, it was short, it was sweet, and there was a ton of exciting stuff that they talked about. But walking away from that event, the biggest feeling that I had was just excitement for how quickly Framer is moving. I really do feel like they are pumping out great features and improvements faster than any other site building tool out there. I really do feel like they listen to the community and they're focusing on the features that are going to make the biggest difference for us as creators. So I wanna thank the Framer team. I'm still pretty new to Framer and it is quickly becoming my favorite tool. So if you wanna check out the Framer Marketplace, I'll link to it down in the description. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.